talking about a lunar eclipse. You might have seen some of this on social media already. It happens Sunday night into Monday. So I'm going to talk you why, talk you through why this happens. So uh, the sun actually casts a shadow with the Earth, and this time around, the moon, as it rotates around the Earth, is going to move into that shadow. It's called the umbra, and it's going to appear a coppery red color because of that shadow. That shadow is actually just the Earth's atmosphere bending sunlight into the shadow. So it's going to give it that cool red color to it. It also happens to be a super moon and a flower moon. A super moon just means that it's going to appear closer to the Earth because of where it's at in its orbit. A flower moon is just the name given to the May full moon. All of that coming together on Sunday night. So this is how you can view it. All you got to do is look up. The duration of the eclipse is going to be 3 hours, 27 minutes, 58 seconds. Now, this is also including the partial eclipse. It's going to start at 927 Sunday night. It's going to peak or total totality. That's when you see that reddish color at 1111. How lucky is that? And then uh, it will completely be done by about 255 in the morning, so closer to one. You'll notice totality, though, for a total of 85 minutes between 1028 and 1153 p.m. If you have one of those fancy cameras, be sure to share those pictures with me. I would love to see those come Monday morning.